Let's talk about Black Lives Matter today. I'll be the first to admit that African Americans are constantly harassed, singled out, unfairly profiled, and generally targeted by members of law enforcement. Here in the U.S., it's commonly known that blacks typically do not get a fair shake when they've been put through the judicial system. And when you study past American history, you realize just how scary it is to be colored. As of lately, it is downright dangerous, with frightening examples like Michael Brown, Eric Gardner, Philando Castile, George Floyd, and Charles Kinsey, it has become abundantly clear, at least to me, that there's a horribly disproportionate number of blacks getting unjustly murdered by police officers. In most cases, the officials involved usually get to walk away with nothing more than a slap on the wrist as punishment, and that most definitely isn't right. Because of countless victims like the few I just mentioned, many political and social justice groups formed to bring attention to these presumably racially motivated and unlawful acts committed by policemen who are entrusted to protect and serve us all. One of them being Black Lives Matter. Founded in 2013 by Alicia Garza, Patrice Kuehlers, and Opal Tometi, their mission, as described on their website, is to eradicate white supremacy and build the local power to intervene in violence inflicted on black communities by the state and vigilantes. Ladies, if I may, as a man of rational thought and action, I must say the ideals expressed on your website and the entire motivation for your organization is more than justified, and I applaud whatever steps y'all have taken to accomplish your goal. Except for one thing. Yeah, I don't say a motherfucking thing when it comes to black on black violence, which has been going on for decades. Are y'all saying a black life should only be taken by another black person? Cause I don't see the protests for those cases. Forgive me, but I'm getting some mixed signals here. Why the silence on the topic? Why, in your group's eyes, does it only count when a cop crosses the line? Y'all must have forgotten that black on black crime existed ages before your organization, and I have yet to hear your movement address it. And that, in turn, makes me question your rationale as an activist group. The term black on black crime exists because of the frequency in which people of African American descent commit violent crimes towards one another. And if you're wondering, no, it's not an actual legal term. You'll never hear, the defendant is being charged with black on black crime in the second degree. It's just a way to describe a repetitive situation. Also, I want y'all to keep in mind that I'm not speaking about the ills of the hood as some white guy from the burbs with a false sense of guilt or racist person. I grew up around this bullshit and witnessed it firsthand, so I want those who are currently assert over my aforementioned facts to take that into consideration. So let's be fair here. How the fuck can you expect me or any other non-black individual to take your stance seriously? Either look at the whole goddamn picture or shut up. Y'all can't play deaf, dumb, and blind forever. Those of us paying attention and are knowledgeable of the history will see right through your message, positive as it may be. And in case you fail to catch it, I'm speaking about individuals who are a serious detriment to their people. You know, the hood rats and ghetto shit stains that take pride in keeping the criminal stereotypes alive? Yeah, them. All decent, respectable, law-abiding black folks have no reason to be offended here. <laughs> Hopefully. Let's continue. If you believe cops are the law and they should know better, I agree, but please remember to preach that same shit to your local hood rats who are always ready to lay each other out. Whether you like it or not, that argument goes both ways. Instead of truly standing together and demonstrating unity amongst their own, they're quick to tear each other down. Like with rap artists. How many tracks are there where one rapper is talking shit about another one? I know I've heard thousands. It's lame as fucking gets boring, but it's expecting that type of music. And even if an artist wasn't beefing with anyone, most rappers who make it out of the hood know they shouldn't go back because they'll likely get stabbed, robbed, or murdered out of pure envy from their own people. So as a reasonable man, I can't blame them for never returning to the ghetto. Some actually do because they want to give back, and that's beautiful, but that's not always the wisest decision. Nipsey Hussle learned that the hard way. May he rest in peace. And how about real gangs? These fools love killing each other on a daily basis for reasons too fucking stupid for an educated person to comprehend. Territory, ongoing beef, and sometimes just to brag since taking out a rival gang member earns you stripes within that world. So again I wonder, where are the BLM protests for the gang related homicides in Chicago, or California, or here in New York? I know I'm stating the obvious here, but hood niggas don't give a shit about black lives because they're the biggest contributors in taking them, and it's commonly glorified in the lyrics of rap music, hence why I brought that up. But I'll also be fair, not all rappers are completely lost in the septic tank of the ghettos. I've seen many rappers and their associates speak out against violence and the street life in attempts to bring peace and education, but those are individuals. 
My focus here is on the Black Lives Movement and its most obvious flaw. They like to choose where and when to be outraged with a singular focus on what police do wrong. In an online article for the Baltimore Sun, John Hudgens wrote, we must realize that some black people are a much greater threat to other black people than the Ku Klux Klan or white citizens councils. The number of blacks gunned down in the streets by other blacks parallels our memories of the many blacks lynched in communities across the United States after reconstruction. This is a devastating plague acutely affecting black communities across the country. Having regularly observed this behavior with my own eyes, I can only concur. And what a goddamn shame it is. I think it all comes down to who you ask. Do black lives matter? Yes, they absolutely do. But so do all other lives. And before some fucking idiot takes that out of context, I'm not saying all lives matter as if I support that particular movement. But no innocent life should be unjustly taken by an officer of the law. That's what I mean. So fuck you in advance if you try to twist that. Anyway, there's no question that blacks have been through a lot in the past 50 years alone. But if those decades of discrimination, mistreatment, and degradation aren't enough to bring y'all completely together, then what is? The government doesn't give a fuck about y'all, or any of us minorities for that matter. But that's all the more reason to form a real brotherhood, isn't it? The fact that an entire movement was created to combat the incessant racial profiling in the United States is a shameful cross to bear as a country. But welcome to America, where the bigotry, inequality, and division will never end. This nation was built on this and it has been growing for decades, in many forms, not just racially. Bottom line, if y'all want to be taken seriously as a movement, y'all need to work on your own communities first before demanding a ceasefire against your brothers and sisters. Because even if they complied, as proven by past history and present stats, y'all will continue to go after each other. And as horrible and offensive as that may sound, bear in mind that there are many black folks who feel the exact same way. All lives matter, nigga. I don't give a fuck if you white, black, blue, purple, brown, tangerine. Nigga, all lives matter. Y'all want a nigga to go out there head first, tell these motherfucking white people black lives matter. But my motherfucking black life didn't matter to the nigga that tried to execute me. All the niggas I know been shot by niggas. And I understand the whole black lives movement. We've been oppressed. We've been done wrong. Nigga, we do wrong to each other. I can't believe you gotta explain this shit to these brain dead ass Negroes. Well, don't your black life matter? Yeah. And you know why? Because I fucking say that it matters. See, I don't need to go out in the street with a sign screaming this shit like a fucking idiot and throwing a temper tantrum like a damn child. Uh, also, I'm not even remotely worried about being killed by the police. You know why? Come here. Let me tell you. Because I'm not a fucking criminal and I don't go around committing fucking crimes. Also, if I do interact with the police, guess what else I don't do? I don't fight the cops and I don't resist arrest like a fucking moron. I don't know why they always killing us. Really? See, nobody cares about your fucking skin color. Nobody gives a damn about your brown skin. See, it's your fucked up shitty behavior is why people don't like you. That's why I don't like you. You dumb, stupid-ass motherfuckers. The truth hurt. If you don't want to hear the truth, get the fuck off my page. Black lives is going to matter when it matter to black people. Okay? 27 motherfuckers just got shot this weekend in Philadelphia. A little boy got hit in his head. He was four years old. Why we ain't protesting for that? Because a black person killed them? Hmm? Motherfuckers out there getting ready to burn down Louisville over what happened to Breonna Taylor. I just gotta tell y'all, you know, I hope y'all, all y'all motherfuckers go to jail. I hope, I hope uh, some of y'all motherfuckers get killed by the cop. Fucking, I ain't even gonna hide it. And y'all getting mad over the fact that she was killed, but I bet y'all don't give a fuck. Y'all don't even know that there were 121 murders in Louisville this year alone. 70% of them young black men between the ages of 18 and 30. And over 400 shootings alone. Most of the victims involving young black men between the ages of 18 and 30. But y'all ain't gonna riot and loot about that. Y'all ain't gonna burn down police stations over that. The fact that we're killing more of each other at a higher rate than white people. If black lives is gonna matter, let's let's get our shit together. Let's get our shit together and make it matter. Oh, y'all don't wanna talk about that though, huh? Y'all don't wanna be, y'all don't wanna be held accountable. Fuck that shit.
104 niggas just got shot in Chicago in three days. They say Black Lives Matter. You killed your own. You killed your own this time. Just because of barrier. They killed my baby because she crossed the barrier and made a U-turn. You killed a child. She ain't do nothing to nobody. Started shooting on my car before we could even make a U turn. Shooting my ties out, like, why? But Black Lives Matter. Rest in peace to George Floyd. Rest in peace to Bianca. Rest in peace to everybody that lost their life because of injustices. I'm not no way, shape, or form saying them white people and get no fucking pass because they don't. But at the end of the fucking day, if black lives is going to truly matter, it got to matter with black fucking people. If you're going to join a cause that you wholeheartedly believe in, great. But try to investigate its purpose and every aspect of its stance. If and when you find holes or inconsistencies, see if they can be corrected. If they aren't mendable, it might be time to reevaluate your support. Don't just rely on the areas that suit your argument. An organization must be truly organized before it can inspire change. And for what it's worth, educate yourselves and your youth since knowledge is power. Know the law and how to have it on your side if and when the time comes. It always helps to be prepared since understanding it is crucial to survival. I know there are many reasons not to have faith in this broken ass system we live by, but you should still protect yourself as best you can. Don't be stupid. Know your shit because even the most basic information can go a very long way. So do I believe in BLM's message? Absolutely not because of their one and only motivation for protesting. I can't logically support an organization that cherry picks its battles and ignores the pre-existing issues that affect the very people it supposedly wants to help. But I get why they fight. Maybe one day they'll finally wake up and address what's right in front of them and truly improve the situation for black people everywhere. I'm Gio. Thanks for watching.